Hey everyone, Dolly Denson here. Um, I wanted to come on for a second because I have made some pan fried cinnamon bananas and holy cow, are they good. If the kids don't get in here and grab some quick, I am going to eat it all. <laughs> but I wanted to share them with you and share the recipe with you because it's super duper easy and it's a good way to get in a little bit of a sweet, um, sweet treat without it really being a treat um, in terms of calories and all of that stuff. So um, if y'all caught my video this morning, you may have heard me talk about this, but if not, I wanted um, to elaborate a little bit. Um, this workout program that I'm doing right now, I'm on day 35, I think. And I, with the workout program, it has a nutrition plan and it has very specific guidelines for what to eat at certain times of the day um, to really kind of optimize the workout um, so that you're working out and then you're providing your body with fuel at the proper times of day to make the workouts more effective and um, to have more health benefits from the whole program. So if y'all are hopping on, tell me hi. So I know you were watching. I haven't come on in the evening in a couple of days, so I wanted um, to just share this with y'all. But um, so the nutrition plan that I'm following, we're on day 35. We've been following a very specific plan. And for day 35, it's a day where we can add in a few um, foods that are higher on the glycemic index, which means if I was diabetic, it would be foods that are going to elevate my blood sugar faster. If you're not diabetic, then your body has the capability of taking that sugar and storing it, um, which on a day like today, hey Julie, um, a day like today, it's going to take that sugar, that higher sugar content of the food that I'm providing it, and it's going to put it into my muscles and help restore them and repair them. Um, Cause this workout program that I'm following has me more sore than I have been in a long, long time. Right, Julie? Um, Julie. Okay. All right. See if you stick with me. This is one reason why I get frustrated doing live videos in the house. Um, but Julie is in the fit family with me and is doing awesome with her workout program. Um, so pan fried cinnamon bananas are on the menu for tonight as sort of a dessert that goes with the meal that I just ate. Hey Letty. Um, so for pan fried cinnamon bananas, I already made them. I wasn't sure if they were going to turn out because I had two bananas and the recipe says two bananas that are just ripe. Well, mine are a little beyond ripe. <laughs> so I went ahead and tried them. I thought it was going to turn out to mush, but it didn't. So you slice up two large bananas that are just at the ripe stage. And then, um, in a pan, <clears throat> In a pan like this, um, you put in um, two teaspoons of ghee, um, organic grass-fed ghee, which ghee is like butter, but it has had the dairy portion of butter removed, and it has more health benefits than regular butter. But if you don't have ghee, um, ghee does have add, has a little bit of a different flavor, but if you don't have that, you could also use butter, preferably um, gra organic grass-fed butter if possible. And then, so two teaspoons of ghee or butter, and then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And this is the ghee, by the way, if you want to see what it looks like. My um, regular grocery store carries it. And then a tablespoon, tablespoon plus a teaspoon of raw honey. And when you buy honey, it's best to buy local, buy something that um, is made somewhere close to where you live. Um, and then a pinch of sea salt. So you combine those four things into that pan, turn it on to medium heat, mix them up, um, just heat it up enough to where everything's kind of melted and combined. And then you take the slices of bananas and put them down in the, like the circle, put it down in the little pan and let it kind of fry with that sauce. And then you flip it over to the other side, let it fry, and then you're done. I don't think I use a big enough pan. It's probably better for you to use a little bit bigger pan because what mine ended up looking like is it wasn't like as spread out. So, I okay, back. All right. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I hope some of y'all are still watching. Um, but um, I don't. I think I needed to spread mine out more because what happened was it's kind of like saucy a little bit, um, but it still tastes delicious. So, um, hey Tammy. 
So I have here divided it up and I didn't give them very much, but I have some for Cassidy and Blake. Um, Dustin's not home right now, so he doesn't get any. I'll have to make some for him another time. Um, but I divided it up, but if they don't come in here and get it, I may end up eating theirs too. But give it a try and see if you like it. With the bananas, when you put them in, you should um, let them cook on each side for approximately three minutes and then turn them over. So you kind of want them to kind of like caramelize um, on the banana, like the sauce to caramelize on the banana a little bit and heat up a little bit. So hope that helps y'all. Let me know if you have questions about that. It's a really, really good um, recipe. If you don't have honey, you can also use pure maple syrup. And this is the brand that I get at my local grocery store. Costco also has a brand. When you buy maple syrup, um, you want to look at the ingredient label, and the only thing that it should have on it is pure maple, is maple syrup. Um, the brands of maple syrup I grew up eating, um, the ones that were like in the shape of a woman's body, I'm not going to say the name, um, they um, are oftentimes not really syrup at all. They're like a concoction of chemicals. So be very aware when you buy syrup to look at the ingredients, um, get something that says just maple syrup. Otherwise, you're buying chemicals that have been concocted together to make you think that they're syrup. All right, so I hope that helps y'all. Hope y'all have a great evening. This is delicious, so I hope you try it. Um, but I will talk to y'all later, and let me know if y'all have any questions. Bye.